we have the force on a little piece of the string, but now we have to finish what we started. We have to finish Newton's second law. So we had the force was the tension, the y force was the tension times delta x times d2y dx2 times the curvature. Well, that's equal to the mass of that little piece of string times the acceleration. The acceleration of that little piece of string is really just d2y dt2. So y is a function of time as a position, dy dt is a velocity, second derivative d2y dt2 is the acceleration. So we have an opportunity here to get back to our fundamental properties of the string by bringing this delta x under the mass, because that would be t d2y dx2, and the mass over delta x, that's the mass per unit length or for this little piece. Right? So we could write that as mu and then d2y dt2. Um, and I'll see the next thing would be to bring the t, the tension under the mass density, and we get d2y dx2 equals mu over t d2y dt2. Do you hear that? Or? Yeah. Um, so anyway, so we have mu over t. And this is interesting. This is in seconds squared per meter squared. So it kind of looks like a velocity. So we could actually, if we wanted to, we could say, let's define a velocity and rewrite that as a velocity as a square root of t, the tension, over the mass density. 